Hey everyone, and welcome back to One Room Over Gaming. We are playing Night Horrors again. I I learned a little bit about it last time I played it, and so we're going to play it again, try and beat it. It is a Five Nights at Freddy's style game, but I don't think it lasts for five nights. I think it's a, more of just like a survive and escape kind of situation with like themes of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It's got like knockoff characters, if you will, you know, animatronics that want to kill you, all that good stuff, all those fun things that happen. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit more open roaming. So this is just a little bit of exposition for any of you who didn't watch the first Night Horrors that I played. So if you're jumping in right now, you haven't missed much. Uh, I'll go ahead and listen to the phone call the first, the first time around, just for anyone who, uh, anyone who hasn't heard the phone call yet, get all the helpful information. Hello. Hi there. Welcome to your new job at Fazbear Museum. Here we are dedicated to showing off the amazing work of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. After the restaurant closed down. We try to salvage as much of the animatronics we could. Unfortunately, the main animatronics were promised to other companies. So, Fazbear Entertainment decided to give us two other carriages. They had never been used by the restaurant. They didn't have names, but we decided to name them James Fazbear and Scrappy. James and Scrappy. James seems to be a concept model of Freddy and Scrappy shows a slight resemblance to Bonnie. Since they have never been seen, they're word of fortune. That's why you're here, to protect the models from getting harmed or stolen. I'm sure you may be a little worried about the models roaming, but it has never happened here like it has in the pizzeria. The museum is currently still in construction, so we do not have much to show, but we are still working on getting some more memorabilia from the owner. We have provided you with strong weaponry, because we always keep the entrance door locked with a time-locking mechanism, so you will need it if someone breaks in. Your office is your safe place, so make sure if you do get attacked by an intruder, to keep yourself safe in there. Uh, try not to stay in the office too long with your doors closed, as the door seems to start malfunctioning if kept closed. That's all there is to it. So, good luck, and we will see you again tomorrow. Alrighty. Oh, they will see me again tomorrow. Is that it? Okay, cool. Maybe it is five nights. Or whatever. Alright, let's get a look at you. There's my nemesis, James Fazbear. Missing a little bit of one arm. A little bit. Alright. Last, yeah, so I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to let him. That's my office. That's not where I'm meant to go. Every time I go in this room, it seems to, and the alarm will go off. And Yep. Sure does. And this is where the fun starts. So I need to find keys so I can get out of this terrible job all right clearly he's out there moving around a little bit um last time i played this uh it uh it seemed that i almost don't need i don't know if i actually need to be in my office uh i seem to be able to just move around and avoid getting like there's you can kind of if you if he doesn't see you if he doesn't see you he can't catch you so i'm gonna that seems to be pretty like i don't have to run away to my office i can kind of duck unless he comes in here in which case that would suck maybe don't point my light at the door i have to point my light at the door how else will i see him so he's out there he's moving around No. Yeah, 
that thumping sound, that means he's getting close. We good? We good? Nope. He was in the room. Well, damn it. So he can be he could be in the room with you even. It's just that uh, if you see it like if the flashlight if you're too close to him, that's when he'll attack you. It's tough to be patient. I have a I have a patience issue. I just want to Anyone, if you're trapped in a in a mu in a museum with animatronics that want to do you harm, the last thing you want to do is like just sit around and wait, but I guess you know, it's better than the alternative, which you guys just saw me get killed no one wants to get killed it's just no it's just not a good day it's just not a, a good way to end your day or start your day getting killed is not good any time of day that's my personal feeling you can take it and you can leave it you can have your own opinion these loading screens take a while. Yep. Okay. And I can hit shift to run, but I don't want to run. Not a big runner. What happens if I just go out here? Is he already gone? Yep. Just like magic. Nope. Nope. I ran away from him. He was... Leave me alone. No. Leave me be. I want to go away from you. Get out of my room. It's kind of like... No. No! Ah! He just stands there. He just traps me in the room and stands there. It's terrible. Okay. Try it again. All right, let's go again. I was doing better the first time before I even knew what I was doing. I, I am pressing E. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. You're a jerk, Waffle. Well, at least I know I can outrun him. Hang out in here. Let the alarm go off. Let him go find a place to be. That hopefully isn't in here with me again. Come on, you jerk. Get out of here. Go hide somewhere else. I don't want to be friends with you. Ah! 
Every time. Every time. Super lucky. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go straight to the source next time. This time we're, we're not going to even... We're just going to be reckless. Maybe. If we get out. There we go. Sometimes it takes a minute, you know? This is where he likes to run to. Here we go. He's probably going to find me in here. Yep, he sounds pretty close. Not even going to bother turning around. I'm just going to stand here with my flashlight against the wall. Okay. Sounds like he's getting further away. Nope, nope. Sounds like he's getting closer. I'll die with my back turned. Go away. Alright. Okay. That dead end just served me a purpose. So he's in here with me. He's in the maze. We're both in the maze. Alright. So again, if I get caught... Actually, I need to go this way. Ish. I need to be in this room, because there's a key in this room. Okay. So I got my key. Alright. Where are you? I'm listening for you. You little jerk pie. Alright. Are you in here? Oh, he was close. Oh, man. he I cannot outrun him. I try and try. But I cannot outrun him. Oh, Lista did a little... Lista did a little bit better. Okay. Try again. I Like I said, I'm not the best game player in the world. I, I don't... I, I don't like to be patient. I just want to get it over with. And this is okay, so we're back in. This is the first night. This is the first night. In the phone call, he says, See you tomorrow. I I can't even get out of here. I'm having trouble with the first night. I'm just gonna go back and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm just gonna run. Just run into the maze and try and avoid him that way. Unless he gets in here with me and kills me. Well, I've got my back turned. Because he sounds awful close. Don't come in here. I don't want to be your friend. I don't. I don't, I don't. Okay. Nope. Close by. Sounds like he's to my left. Don't come in here. Oh, he sounds close. Now he sounds further away. Oh, what a jerk. He was in my left ear, then he was... Okay. Go get key number one. That's the blue key that's on that desk there. There's only one key in this office. Alright, let's go in there. Let's go deep. Let's go as deep as we dare. Move slow. He's clearly over there, where I don't need him to be. Keep going. Yes. 
is. Okay, so far so good. All right. Nope. Oh, I think he's in here with me. I haven't even seen Scrappy. That's probably like a whole other nightmare that I have yet to... Nope. Oh, he got me. I am just the worst at this. Alright, we'll try it one more time. One more time this playthrough. Okay, let's try it again. Try not to be terrible at my job here. World's worst night guard. Can't even get away from one single animatronic. Just walk to my doom every time. Go straight to the key. Alright, he's close. I don't know how deep he goes into the rooms. There's really no way for me to know. Nope. Still still close by. Oh. He might be in here with me. Can't exactly even... I can't shut off my flashlight. Oh. Oh, he's really close. It sounds like a transformer in my ear. Okay. Yes? Yes. I can't even get back to where that second key is. It's because this guy's a butt. This is my strategy. I'm just going to go into separate rooms and hide in corners and junk. He's a, he's a mover. That's for sure. He is an active little animatronic. All right. Yeah. Let's hope for good news. Well, he can only be one place. So. As long as I am not where he is, that's a positive. And if he went past me, is this the room I was in? Is this a room? Ooh. This is why I... Oh, he's close. Oh, I hear him. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. No one's in here. Don't come get me. Nope. Nope. No one's in here. It's totally cool. There's a key in here. I know it. Because I was in here last time. Nope. 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 Nope, no one here. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Just fuck me. Come on, man. <sighs> yep, just walk on by. I wish I could turn off my flashlight or not be here entirely. I wish I didn't take this job. All right, there's the new key. And now, I am in the exact same spot as I was, shit, the last time I played this. Um, I just like to hope that if I hide in a corner with my flashlight down, that it makes me a little less easy to see. But, you know, <laughs> you've seen how that's worked for me so far. <laughs> oh my god, man. Just go away. Nope. Nope. I'm I'm done. He got me. Two keys. That's That's as good as I get. I can get two keys. And then I can just die. And that's the first night. The phone call said we'll see you again tomorrow night. So I'm supposed to find however many keys there are. And try and get out of this mess and I still don't even know how much more maze there is in this game I mean I 
obviously it kept going. I just turned off to the right because I knew that there was going to be a, a key card in that one little room with all the wooden shelves. But there could be so much more in this maze. I mean, there, I don't even know how many key cards I'm supposed to be looking for, you know. And I don't know if they change out at every time which one is the uh, is the one that's going to keep you alive. You know, like if if it changes every time, so if that in that first office, if that first key could keep me, could get me out, or if it's just going to be a certain key every time, I don't know, uh, because I've only ever gotten the two keys, and I've never even been able to get back to the door to try the two keys. I've tried the one key before, and it didn't work for me. So, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty stressful. So that is all the night horrors I am going to play. For right now, uh, I'll come back to this again later and see if I can get three keys or even get the two keys and then try and get out of there with that. Uh, so thank you everybody for coming over to One Room Over Gaming and until then, uh, happy gaming and I hope to see you again soon. Alright, thank you. Bye.